and you just hear him talk. You gotta kind of like talk, not loud, but just kind of say like, hey, my name is Ifra. I, I just need to see if you're in the mic. Oh, oh okay. Ole, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have never been here before, my name is China, and if you have, once again, welcome back. So before we get started, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. If you've kind of been here and you like my vibe, please show me some love, as well as press the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so as you can tell, I do have a guest here. This is my beautiful, awesome sister. It's my little sister. Her name is Ephra. Um, she's actually visiting me from Dallas, Texas. So we're in Atlanta right now. I do live in Atlanta, so I'm just kind of showing her around and just spending some time. So really excited that she's here. But today, we are going to be testing some perfumes. So, do you want to say hi? I didn't even let you saw. <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Ifra Mitchell. I am 16 year old, soon to be turning 17 in a couple months. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yes, 16 years old. So we will be trying these perfumes. She was with me when we bought these. We went to a store um, called The Scent Room in Dallas and we did end up getting a discovery kit. So you guys know how I like my samples. I like discovery kits as well just because it can give you an idea of the different um, perfumes that that brand has or that house has and you can kind of wear them and try them out and things like that and this one was really cool because this is Montal um Montal Paris and this was their I believe it was their fruity yeah fruits and vanilla kit so a lot of these scents are very sweet and fruity and those are scents that I like myself as well as my sister really likes. So I thought that this was good to um, try with her just because she, you know, she is part of the younger crowd, but still to be able to see like what it is that she's into. So let's go ahead and open, shall we? <laughs> So guys, if you are not aware of the Montal Discovery Kit, this is what it looks like inside, and it just gives you a little bit of a description about the house. So it says it was founded in 2001. Um, this is a very popular house. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about Montal, and um, it is considered a niche brand, I believe. So. We're gonna go ahead and start. It gives, I'm, I'm not gonna go through all of the, yeah, I'll probably list the notes on the screen so you guys can try this out, but I will be going ahead and giving just a brief little description of the scents. And like I said, we're just really trying these out. I have smelt these before. Um, I already know which ones are my favorite, but I am interested in seeing which ones uh, are her favorite and just, you know, me being near, I'm not near 30, me being in my, <laughs> mid 20s and her being in um, her teenager years. I'm just interested in seeing our differences. So do you know, Ifra, like what type of scents do you typically like? I'm, like? I'm mostly all about the sweet, the fruitiness, like I'm just, I just love sweets, like baked goods, mm -hmm. like mixed fruit, just. You know. So you really like like gourmand perfumes, things that remind you of like edible things, treats and yeah, bakes like, and know. baked goods and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely do. Okay. So this one is called Soleil de Capri. So, okay. See what you think about that one. Okay. So, so for this one, like, they're like okay so like it kind of smells sweet but like it doesn't have like the sweetness that like i would necessarily typically think that it would have mm -hmm. like it smells a little bit more like a little bit more like put like mature and like more up there mm -hmm. so like an older person would wear that yeah you think? so like like what ages do you think so like i'll probably say your like age range like probably like when you're like going out like somewhere fancy like that's what i would think like you would use this for mm. do you do you like smell anything in particular in the fragrance because you said it smells like um, sweet do you think that it smells like like if you had to guess like a note that was in here what would you what would you guess um i 
there's something in here that like I know the smell like I know what it smells like. It kind of smells like I can kind of it smells like a little bit of wood is probably in here. Some wood? Yeah, it smells like there kind of could be some wood in here. Okay, and on a one a scale of one to ten, what do you think? What would you give it? Um from like my like Yeah, your own personal opinion. Um, I'd probably give it like I'd probably give it a five just because like it does smell good, but like it's not something that I would be like looking for at like if I were to like smell this in a store, I would necessarily get it because it's just not you it's know, not appealing what I'm to you. For. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. She gave it a five. So this one is uh, basically like a citrusy um, perfume. And so it's listed as a fresh citrus burst of grapefruit and kumquat uh, met by soft, clean notes of white flowers and white musk. So the notes are grapefruit, kumquat, and white musk. So this is a very citrusy perfume. When I think about this, I definitely think about like, you know, like beachiness and like sailing. It kind of smells a little salty to me. So. This one is definitely more of a citrus fragrance. Okay, so let's get into the next one. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want to influence your, <laughs> your decision, but this one is called Vanille Absolute. Oh yeah, see it smells like, like some cookies. I sense cookies in the mist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells like it smells like a like it smells like an oven like when like the cookies aren't fully done yet but they're cooking and like you can just smell like as like it goes like as it like thoroughly gets cooked you can just smell the like scent of cookie like getting cooked and getting done. Mm, okay, so it so it's on the way it's some some cookies baking. Yeah. Okay, so what what's the note that you can smell in there? Can you smell um, anything in particular? I definitely smell like some vanilla. That's okay. Number one. Uh-huh. Vanilla and cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give that one? Um, I'd probably give this one... I'd probably give it an A... An, an 8. An 8? Yeah, an eight. So you would you would that be something that you would pick out that you yeah, would wear? Yeah, it'd probably be something that I'd pick out. Like, I'm probably, like... It smells, like, more on, like, the warm side than, like, something that, I would, like, I could wear every day. It smells like something I would most likely want to wear, like in the winter to smell like a baked good. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's when I would wear this. Um I did pair this with with something and I really I really love this one. This was one of my favorite ones. It kind of smells like um an artificial vanilla or like vanilla extract to me. And I really like the way that smells. Yeah. So it definitely is is gourmandy, and so I would. So it says that it's it is a gourmand. It says for true vanilla lovers, an authentic vanilla revealed, deep, dry, and hot vanilla is what this fragrance is all about. So um, typically, I'm not like super, super, super heavy on vanilla, but I don't know something about that vanilla is just so rich and creamy to me. I love it. So this next one is called So Amber. Okay, Let's see what you think of this. Yeah, that smells really mature, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it smells very mature? Yeah, it's on the mature side, so. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more on the mature side. I wouldn't necessarily get it, cause it doesn't like, there's like, I don't really like sense any um I don't sense any uh sweetness. Okay. So like I mean, there's a little like there's like a little like the more that I like smell it, there is like a hint of like sweetness that does come in uh -huh. with it. But it's just like but not like, sweet enough for you. Yeah, it's not like sweet enough cuz like there's still something that's also like mixing in with it. Well, does it smell good to you or? Yeah, it does smell good. It's just something that I don't necessarily like see myself like, oh, I want this. Like, I just make, maybe like when I get, as I like, I grow older and like, I might try to like go spill it again. I might choose it then. But like for now, I wouldn't get it. Do you think that that's something like I would wear or mom would wear? Um, 
I feel like this is more on like mom's side. Like I feel like mom would actually wear this. Like if I gave this to her, I'm like, mom, I smell this. She'd be like, oh yeah, this smells nice. What, like what do you, <laughs> what do you, um, what do you give it? On a scale of one um, to ten, I'll give it a, I'll give it a five too. A five? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that one's called So Amber. It's listed as an Oriental Gourmand. It has warm amber sweetened by Moroccan rose and vanilla heightened by spicy saffron. So the notes are amber, vanilla, rose, and saffron. So, yeah, it's a, yeah. it's an Oriental perfume. It's. I think that's what I could smell as a sweetness was the uh, vanilla and the rose, and then something in there was just like mixing in with it mm -hmm. yeah i i actually do i actually like this scent um but i i can see how how you would see that it's it's more of a mature scent it's yeah. it's more florally to me um mm -hmm. it smells a bit more floral so she gave this one a five so amber a five okay so let's go to the next one this next one is called Sweet Vanilla. Okay, so we kind of have an idea of what this one is going to be about. Let's see if she likes this one. Oh, I'm stuck <laughs> my nose. Okay, I like this one. It doesn't like it doesn't smell bad or anything. Mm-hmm. There's something else in the vanilla that I can smell. I just don't know what it is. Like it smells like it smells like something edible. <laughs> uh -huh. Not like a baked good or something, but like it smells like a fruit is in here. Hmm. But like I definitely like the vanilla is definitely there. Like it's yeah there there yeah yeah. But there's something else that I smell within. Like, the, there's a fruit in there. Like it smells What's like that? a fruit or something's in there. It smells like some. I can smell. I I can smell something else. Very like I can smell something else sweet that like blends in with the vanilla nicely. Okay. What would you what would you give it? What would you rate it? Um I'd probably rate this I'd probably rate this at eight also. At eight. I feel like this is something you could wear like in the springtime. It smells mm. a little floral like. You could also probably wear it like, you know maybe like the beginning of summertime, maybe. But like it smells really like you know, Kind of garden like, or like something that you would want to like smell. So walking through like a garden in a way. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So you give this an eight, and I I thought it was interesting that you said it. So this one is sweet vanilla. It's listed as a fruity gourmand, mm -hmm. and it says all of the sweetness of vanilla revealed by the juiciness of apricot. So that's the fruit that you're smelling in there. And it says, and softened by delicate white musk. So the notes are vanilla, apricot, and white musk. Okay. So I thought it was very interesting that you picked up on that fruit. Yeah. There's some type of fruit in here. I, I, I like this one as well. I preferred just like the, the vanilla though. I preferred mm -hmm. just like the natural vanilla. It just... Something about it to me was just like pure and, and natural. But I do like that one as well. Let's get into this next one. It is called Dark Purple. Okay. Let's see what you think of this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> It just, it just <laughs> <laughs> it smells like old people. I mean, okay, let me no, let me rephrase that. Like it just smells definitely smells. Yeah, it definitely smells more mature. <laughs> so would I wear it or would mom wear it? Or would I'd really somebody. say like, I'd really say mom. Like I'd really say just mom might just straight up wear this or <laughs> someone older? Yeah, so I don't think like your age range was like, unless like you go on to like maybe a dinner, but like it, yeah, it just smells so like it smells like it gives me, it gives me vibes of like the perfume that I smell that mom usually like is in her bathroom. <laughs> like, I can smell well, it. okay, like, just, so just, what, what would you rate it? Um. 
I'm all right. This is like a three. A three? Like a three. I mean, oh, it dear. Smells, it, smells like, it smells okay. It just it really gives me them, <laughs> them back in the day scent vibes. I actually kind of like this one. I liked it. It's really heavy. Definitely heavy. Like, I can smell it. Like, as soon as I, one sniff, it was. It's really heavy, I believe, on rose. I feel like I smell rose very heavy in here. I did like it. Um, so it's dark purple is listed as an oriental fruity floral. It says it's mouth watering purple plum and red fruit blend with hints of rose darkened by patchouli. So the notes are plum, red fruit, rose, and patchouli. Mm. Maybe it's the patchouli as well. But I, I liked this one, but I will say that it is strong. It is. It is strong. I tried to wear this around the house one day and I had to, um, it was just, it was really, really strong. Yeah, that's I feel like it's more like, it just, it gives me real older people vibes. Older people because it's so strong? Yeah. Let's go into the next one. This next one is a very popular one. So I'm interested in seeing what she thinks about this one. Um, I've heard so many people talk about it. Um, it's called Intense Cafe. Okay, I can I can kind of see myself liking this one. Mm -hmm. It smells like a vanilla latte. Hmm. Okay. Like this is something I could probably see, like probably definitely like fall wintery type time. Uh huh. Cause like it just smells like you know like you just walked into like a Starbucks, got some drink, and <laughs> got, some, got some drink. <laughs> Like, you just got your little frappuccino and you just pop back out. <laughs> pumpkin spice latte. A pumpkin spice latte? So, uh. Well, I probably wouldn't say pumpkin spice latte, but like. You but know, like, like a latte. Okay. But like, you can definitely, I definitely. Yeah, and then like, it smells sweet. So, like, it's definitely, like, it still does smell sweet. Like, it doesn't smell like bitter, like coffee. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like I can barely smell the coffee in it. It's yeah, the like, coffee I can isn't smell as the strong. Coffee, but like it's not as strong because it's covered up by what it smells like vanilla. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. And what would you rate that one? Um I'll probably rate this one. Hmm. I'll probably rate this one a um probably like a eight and a like an eight and a half, maybe nine. Oh, so you would put that one above the the vanilla uh, perfumes? Um, probably just because of how like it just Was it like it gives me like a really nice warm type of like vibe. It also makes me like it makes me feel like you know I'm in front of a really nice fireplace. You know, like this is kind of like a Christmas night type of thing, like in your onesie in front of a nice fireplace with the hot cocoa with a nice little movie on. Hmm. Okay. Wow, like, it's just, like, snowing outside. Hmm. I like that picture. Yeah. I... Kind of gives me. I will be so honest. I... This scent... And it's, like, on paper, it's not... It's not bad to me or anything. Um, but this one I wore. And it is so heavy on rose. And it is so, it's just, it's so heavy on, it's, it's so heavy. And like, when I was wearing this, I just could not, I had to, this was the one I had to wash off. Cause I just was like, I don't know if it was just the day or like, I don't know, but it was just so overpowering. It's very, very, very intense. Um, I actually was going to do a review on this one just because I know that this is a very popular one. And a lot of people like this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could, I, I just like, <laughs> I just, I just was like, I need to get this off of me. It just was so strong and so. 
So it's kind of like them. Perf- it's it's kind of like a type of perfume that like you could like wear like into win in the winter, but like maybe like a good one two sprays will do you really. Yeah, good. it's like I could not, and I think I had spray. Maybe I sprayed it a bit much or something because you do like you do not need a lot of this. This was oh so yeah, it, like, it all depends. Strong. Like some perfumes, like you have to, like you can spray very little and like boom, it'll just last. Mm. But like some perfumes, like there's like kind of like a little bit too light to the point we have to like spray a little bit more so like, like, like it can like stay on you like when you're traveling throughout the day like it'll mm-hmm. like stay with you yeah today yeah for sure i just it's like i can stand it on the on the paper especially as it dies down but i'm yeah. telling you when i wore this on my skin i mean my skin that rose was just so strong on me yeah. and that's like all i was smelling uh i can smell a bit more on the paper but on my skin i was just like oh Gosh, okay. Let's get into the last one of the bunch. And this one is called Chocolate Greedy. So I love the name. Let's get into mm, the smell. Chocolate. <laughs> Here you go. Oh yeah, this is a 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your, that's yeah, your, that's, that's, the that's you, all you. Yeah, it just smells so really, like it really smells like like hot cocoa, like every different type of chocolate, like the candy bars, the especially like the hot cocoa. Mm-hmm. And like it definitely does like I smell vanilla mm-hmm. and it definitely does smell warm. So like this is definitely like the picture that I just said a bit ago, that's definitely something that you could really wear. Yeah. That's like, like such is, a this winter is definitely winter time. This is like something like when you're going out and it's like snoring or whatever, or if not like when you're just going out in the cold in the winter uh-huh. time, this is just perfect thing to wear because like you'll just smell like really nice chocolate. Yeah, that is gourmand all the way. If you're yeah. a gourmand lover, that's that's the one. Um, I feel like it 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 kind of to me when I smelt it, I did get like cocoa powder. I got I got cocoa powder, but I also feel like I got. Um, um, even, even like a milkier chocolate, it, it's, it's a milkier chocolate, but I also feel like I smell like a cocoa powder in there. Yeah. So yeah, this one, I, I really like this one as well. Um, and I, I cannot say that I'm a big gourmand lover f- for fragrance, but I did like this. I feel like I have to just kind of shift my mind to start thinking, okay, this is a gourmand scent. So this is going to smell more edible and and think about like sweets and candies and things yeah. like that um but I, I i typically just take towards like fresh scents fruity floral scents like those types of things and, and just very like jasmine just i don't know like a bit more floral but or fruity and floral but this one i really do like i like this one and this is your 10. yes Oh, let's read what it says about this one. So it says chocolate greedy is listed as a gourmand, a must for chocolate lovers, a rich cocoa powder scent with subtle bitter, bitter orange and creamy vanilla undertones. So notes are tonka bean, bitter orange and vanilla. So absolutely love, 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 love that scent. And that is going to be the end for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you so much, sister, for being here. And you did really, really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys would like to see Miss Ephra back, please let me know down in the comments. And also let me know um, if you feel like these discovery kits are worth it. That was another thing that I was really into was starting to buy more discovery um, kits instead of just samples. So I'd be interested in knowing if you guys think that they're worth it. This one was $24, $25, something like that. Mm. $24. $24. So I think that it was, I think that it was worth it, especially because I can try, I think it was what, six or seven different scents that I could try and kind of play around with. Seven different scents that I could really play around with and things like that. So I think that they're worth it, but you guys let me know down below. And if you have tried any of these scents, please let me know as well, which one are your favorites? Which one did you hate? I would love to know that down in the comments. And before you leave, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Okay, show your girls some love. All right, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye.